Hey guys, it's Mr. Penguin Panda and this time I'm going to tell you 5 things you've probably never heard of before about Stardew Valley. This includes some new things from 1x5 and some very interesting bits about Birdie's dead husband at the end. And a lot of these things I figured out by looking into the game's code. And by the way, I'm going to do the classic. Only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So subscribe if you want to support me and see more content like this. I would really appreciate it. Number 1. The Journey of the Prairie King, the arcade game we all hate and love, and I'm probably leaning towards hate, is called Abigail Game in the game's code. Maybe this minigame was initially planned to be just part of Abigail's tour event until Concerned Ape decided to expand it into a full-fledged minigame. But who knows? Number 2. Experienced players might know that there are male and female slimes and that they can reproduce to make small baby slimes. In the code, male slimes aren't actually called that. They are called cute and female slimes are simply, well, not cute. And another fun fact is that the way they reproduce is by playing a game of catch. Female slimes run away while male slimes chase them. They can keep up, they make babies. Makes sense. Number 3. Topaz Ring. If you have ever looked into the store of the adventure skill, you might have noticed that there's a ring called the Topaz Ring that says, increases your weapon's precision by 10%. If you look for answers to what that means, you will realize that it does nothing. Initially, Concerned A planned two additional stats, Mischance and Weapon Precision. Every monster would have a mischance and every weapon would have a precision stat that would reduce your chance of missing. All the code is working and still in the game. Weapons do have a precision stat, there's just no monster with a mischance higher than zero. He probably figured out that this wasn't a very fun mechanic and the only thing left that you can miss are mummies during the revival. Number 4. Warp Totem Keys Arena. This is one of many unused items in the game's code and seems to have some kind of placeholder icon. Its description says, Warp to Keys Arena, be prepared for a challenge. You can spawn it into your inventory by using cheats or mods, but it doesn't have any use yet. It might be one of many items and features that never made past the planning stages. It's fun to theorize and it might have been an incredibly difficult late game quest from the Golden Walnut Room where you could fight waves of monsters or maybe even Mr. Key himself or something similar to get key gems as a reward. Also, Concerned Ape often includes funny easter eggs for nosy people. For example, there's an artifact spot item you can cheat into the game and its description says, uh, how did you get this in your inventory? Ape made a boo boo. So maybe the key arena warp totem could also just be considered a messing with people into theorizing, which would explain the weird icon. But who knows, maybe in the future, in Stardew Valley 1.6 or Stardew Valley 2, this will be a real thing. And finally, number 5. In the game files there are many unused assets including one that is called the Angry Roger. What is implemented in the code suggests a very similar in-game behavior to Ghost. Unused sprites from Whopper 5 show how it would have looked like, including some kind of human form. And to me, this 100% resembles some sort of pirate. And this definitely reminds me of Birdie's husband at first as well. He says that he set sail one day as the pirate captain of a ship, never to return, and that she eventually found his remains stranded on Ginger Island with the shipwreck. After a long trading quest, the player eventually returns the pirate's locket to her. My theory is that the Angry Roger was supposed to be related to Birdie's dead husband and the shipwreck. Birdie's husband is very likely the one who wrote the journal scraps that are scattered all across the island. The first journal scrap strongly hints towards this. The pirate stranded on this island with his crew dead. He then builds a shelter which is the island farmhouse and lives on the island until he dies for unknown reasons. Right now all the journal scraps are found as random drops throughout the island, but one dialogue that's left in the game file says you open the drawer and find a tattered journal. So you would find the first parts of the journal inside the island farmhouse. The player would then slowly uncover the pirate's story by finding the missing pages to fulfill Birdie's request. The angry Roger could have been the end boss or an encounter inside the ship or the volcano dungeon. He would then drop the pirate's locket and therefore conclude the story of Birdie and her husband. In the end, Concerned Ape might have simply decided that it didn't really fit into Stardew Valley like thousands of other features with remnants left inside the files. Before we end this, if you enjoyed my video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. 
It would really help me out. I also started streaming on YouTube and Twitch. YouTube for Stardew Valley content and Twitch for other games like Pokemon, Hollow Knight or whatever. Also, join my Discord server, link in the description down below if you want to get notified. But otherwise, have a nice day and see you in my next video.